to get some fish. Oh, don't even try. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's the first fish and epi of 2020. Super Bowl Sunday, up on my favorite body of water, and let's hope it's a productive morning. First cast. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Little brown fish. Caught on the Goog and Dragon Drop. Pretty little one. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish. First fish of the morning. Kelly's one up in me already, and I'm just sitting here filming for her. Nice That's a nice trout on oh, a jekyll bait. Yeah. This is what she caught the uh, smallmouth on, and um, yeah. So I am quickly taking off apparel, not because I want to go skinny dipping, but because it's gone from like 37 degrees and it's already almost 50, and I've only been fishing about 30 minutes, so the, the temperature is rapidly increasing which is a good thing um, so that's why I went from like hoodie to short man I need I miss the Sun we haven't had much of it here in Arkansas so this little guy um, I've done just some basic stuff on this and recoded put upgraded eyes these are upgraded hooks I watched this um, this European fishing channel on YouTube I'll never be able to pronounce the name correctly but they do a lot of yellow perch competitions if you guys are like heavy youtubers and and watch them as much as I do then you've probably seen this channel and they were just whacking fish on this little guy although this isn't the original the one that they sell in Europe you can only get in Europe unless you want to. I found it on eBay for like 20 bucks um, but this is the closest that I've been able to find to that bait and this is the first time I've tested it so I've, I've, I'm testing I know the pattern is standard it's just I just threw on a fire tiger pattern and resealed it put good eyes on it and better hooks but I'm curious to see what these guys swim like oh I can feel the vibration and then that's really good I can already feel that it's gonna swim well I don't know because the water is still stained we gosh we've had so much rain so much rain but I don't oh that's a good that's a good swim good flutter wow I like this thing I really like this thing so here's the other thing Some, sometimes you guys see this online and sometimes you don't I I prefer to test everything that I make before it ever gets auctioned or sold um, because I really I don't want to sell you guys junk man that's got a great that's got a wicked flutter okay so this so far this is a winner now hopefully everything is put together on the eyelets well uh, but we won't know that till we catch fish and this is definitely something that is capable at least the pattern is definitely capable of catching fish it's got a pretty good rip I kind of want to get this in a little bit deeper water than what I've got here only because out in this current they, this water is down quite a bit I don't know if you guys can see it from here but there's nothing coming over the top of the dam so the water level has dropped just uh, significantly and there's tons and tons of grass out here so I don't this is the only one I brought with me because I only got like a sample like five samples of this but 
if it does well I mean it seems to be swimming really really well this runs um, it's 40 centi or 40 millimeters four centimeters so just over an inch long and it weighs in at 10 grams so that's roughly um, I don't know somewhere in the three-eighths of an ounce ounce or a half ounce deal so it's got a little bit of weight to it which I like I really want to get this out in the current I'm gonna risk it I'm gonna do it we're gonna risk this I hope I don't kick myself for it I just need to actively work this as I'm swimming it back and hopefully something will just come along and smack it because it's moving really well so this is this is a two-thirds of the way home for selling this thing to you guys because you know I've been talking for the whole winter about doing a small waters section on the website because I just don't that's the one thing and I don't have big swim baits on there really yet either so there, that's the two areas and of course I don't cater to the salt c crowd not that I, I've done salt lures it's really no difference the patterns are a little different but but there's those are just a couple of gaps that I want to get seamed up this year to offer because you guys are starting to ask for swim baits and custom work so thank you for that and I just want to catch a fish with this thing I'll keep fishing this I'm gonna be changing lures a lot today which I hate to do um, but I really need to get some testing done on some new stuff that I'm bringing out so we might fast forward to when I catch on this and I'm probably fishing this too far back I really need to be fishing this seam but I know how much grass is choked in here So I'm trying to be a little more careful than I would normally be. When we get over to the other side, I'll be able to do a little bit more because there's some deep holes in there and just on the opposite side here. But I'm, I gotta risk a little bit, you know? Ooh, pull that right out of the water. Now I've got junk on it. Yeah, that's no good. There we go. Slow it down just a little bit. It's still, even at the slower retrieve spit. Oh, that's, man, I'm loving it. I don't know if you guys can see it. So one thing that's difficult to do is film from this perspective and show you guys, like, legit. I need comments, guys. I need comments below. Do I need to build a test tank at the house? Hmm. fish good fish real good fish
Now that's more like it. Dandy of a fish. Over two pounds for sure. 100%. Wrong way. There you go. Thanks. A little smaller. Still nice. A little white fluke. Last time I came up here was New Year's Eve. And I I'd just been smashing them on these little the little three inch Kitex. I tell you and I usually don't. I usually, you know, I'll jig fish or something else, spin fish. But these little knuckleheads. <laughs> yeah, well, for the time being, probably till they spawn. Yeah, just like a little, it's a three inch Kitek. Oh, wow. <laughs> now that is a dandy rainbow on a bigger Kitek. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Wow. Hammering it. Hammering it. Hammering it. Woo. -hoo. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. Nice fish. That will work. Good fish. There you go. There you go. I've got something down here just a hammering at this, but it's not committing to it. <laughs> well, not quite that quick, but <laughs> but thanks. I'll, I'll take the compliment. <laughs> well, this might end up being the year of the swim bait. If I keep walking into these like I am today, the last time I was up here, I might not put this little fluke down all year. There we go. Like I said, <laughs> might not put it down all year. <laughs> oh man, there's something about a smallmouth bite that's just a little bit more fun than anything else. Man, he inhaled that too. Goodness, little guy. Now what did I do with my daggum pliers? little guy. They're fun too. See ya. Little brown fish. <laughs> little jumping brown fish. Well, Quick release. See ya. It's 
Look, feels like a trout. Good trout. Good trout. There we go. There we go. That feels like a trout too. I've, I'm trying to catch smallmouth and I keep ending up catching trout. That's a nice trout. That's a decent one. <laughs> I, I'm just having myself a day. <laughs>